put men on the moon, beckoned revolution with the pound of a hashtag, crafted metal birds that ascend to the heavens, given panacea to bodies that walk the tight rope between life and death. And I'm afraid that our history books will begin with the word sorry. I'm afraid that our history has become litany. Repetition, repetition does not make perfect. And I'm asking, no, demanding, that world leaders make good on their promises. I'm asking that the universal declaration of human rights becomes fact, not fiction. I'm asking that the present not re-gift history to the future. The bell is ringing. Take a seat, class has begun. But I don't know how to account for the 263 million absences, children left behind, children whom struggle to read but whose destinies have been written. If you're quiet enough, you can hear their muted voices, their footsteps on the graveyard of where their schools used to be, Gaza. Collateral damage in a war that has misplaced its meaning, Syria. Their fingertips wrapped around their books like rigid hands on a trigger, Nigeria. To well-trained eyes, they have become invisible, buried under the intersection of apathy and hollow dead lines, waiting. What happens to a dream deferred? It births child brides, child soldiers, and child laborers. Education is not a privilege. Education is a human right, the license to own one's own mind. I'm not asking you to recreate the wheel. I'm asking you to remember the giants whose shoulders we stand on. Nelson Mandela, Mahatma Gandhi, Martin Luther King Jr. The arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends towards justice. If, and only if, we shape it.